Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have some more encouraging words to bring to you this morning that came in Dawn's newsletter. And one of them is one I was going to look up on Grafted In Team Jesus that they did yesterday. And now it's in Dawn's newsletter for November 2nd. And so I'm just going to do it straight from here. Okay, so the very first part, though, is from Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. This is what she got this morning. Well... I guess it was, it's dated November 2nd, but hers doesn't have a date. Could have been yesterday. Every, remember there, this comes out of Hong Kong. And these people, I found out, are from Texas. The church that this lady Dawn is from or knows of. I'm not sure exactly the deal there. But this church in Texas has people that hear from the Lord that submit to Dawn's letter. Okay? I hope that helps you to understand. All right, let's get started. Every step counts on your way to breakthrough. Do not underestimate your progress, regardless of how insignificant it might seem. The road is narrow and sometimes treacherous. But I have been with you to guide you. I am your divine navigator. Trust me to point the way to your destination. Isaiah 43:19 was added and it says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Now, here's this beautiful, it's called, Beautiful and Encouraging Message for the Bride. Dated November 1st, was received at 12.10 p.m. by Terry Hennessy. Yes, daughter, write my words. Oh, my bride, what a gift and blessing you are to my heart. Those of my beloved who worship from the heart through the spirit, I elevate you into my throne room. I embrace you and love you beyond anything you can comprehend on this side of eternity. You will know as you are known. You will know as you are known when you experience the abounding love that is heaven my bride i am so excited that you will be with me soon never to be apart for all eternity endless exploration and discovery awaits my beloved a honeymoon you will never forget and an eternity of joy ecstasy will be at the top my agenda for you each and every waking moment you will rest like you've never rested in your entire lives you will live and be filled with nothing but goodness all the days for eternity look forward to this my beloved bride i am so looking forward to the very near day when we will be together that day is so very near my bride be excited be grateful for your soul will certainly be shocked with excitement and joy for what i have planned for my precious bride i love you more than you can ever fathom how close we are sing and rejoice i am your loving bridegroom, Yahushua. Isn't that precious? Oh, Lord Jesus, we can hardly wait to be with you. All right, this one was given to Bev Robinson, and she heard this. Something new has presented itself. You do not usually like change and do not know how this is going to work try it for a while and see if it does not work go back to what you have been doing just don't do it as much 
Hmm. So this is definitely a specific instruction for either a certain person or a group of people gonna about to try something new. We'll see. It goes on to say, I have a way that is just right. Seek me, and at the right time, it will be right. And this will not cause a problem at all. Clearly not meant for everybody, but maybe for Bev. All right. This last one says this. There is a very simple solution to the question you have asked me over and over. Just say yes to the direction I have shown you. I have untold and unimaginable blessings and favor waiting for you when you just say yes. Trust me now to show you great and mighty things and that I will direct you now and in the future. Submit to my leadership and trust me for results. And this, uh, this scripture was added. Proverbs 16.9 in the Amplified Bible says, A man's mind plans his way as he journeys through life. But the Lord directs his steps and establishes them. And that was given to Jonas Bolin. I hope this has blessed your heart this day, brothers and sisters. It sure has mine. Again, because I heard this last night on Grafted in Team Jesus. And there's another message from Julie Wedby that was shared from 2020. She received it in April and part of it in May. I think it was April to May. Or that's what the timing was. Anyway, I'm going to be looking that up and sharing that also. It is actual instructions for the bride, for the church, and then for the wicked. I believe is how it went. But I'm going to look for that and try to share that with you also. With this, I'm going to end it. And say bye for now, brothers and sisters. I plead the blood of Jesus over the video and over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connections. Uh, the internet guys did come last, well, a man, only one this time. A young man came around 4 o'clock and he changed out one piece of cable that he said was a splitter, I think he called it, and said it looked bad to him. And that sometimes they just come in batches like that, you know, where they they weren't formed exactly right or something. I don't know if that was the problem. His his cell phone is a whole lot newer than and better than what I have, and his speed test was getting me up to two hundred megabits megabips. I don't. Know. <laughs> I'm not sure. It looks like a speedometer when they're doing that internet test. It's really fast. But mine will only get, the highest I got was 80. And when he was done, it was 70 something. But in the morning, it my whole computer block, locked up. And I didn't know that it was internet related. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. But I wasn't even on the internet when it locked up. I couldn't even get past Task Manager. Seriously. I just figured my, the powers that be got me again. And at least I got to the uh, the beginning picture where you click on sign in and then I got to the desktop nothing would pull up I clicked on control alternate delete that pulls up task manager that sometimes helps the computer behave believe it or not but it wouldn't go anywhere it wouldn't do anything I couldn't even close task manager so I thought oh brother not again. That's why I went on YouTube and changed the title to my last video. But now I've changed it back. Now that things are working right. Okay, with that, I'll say bye for now, everybody. I will be back later.